Mugginess right now. Yes, we also have a few rounds of rain in the forecast for later this afternoon and evening and possibly even into Saturday. So if you're trying to get the pups out for an early afternoon walk, probably a good idea. Hey, speaking of pups, stick around for pet of the week because I need you to meet this cutie, this little itty bitty cutie in the bow tie. So, so adorable. Back to your forecast. We do have some seasonal temperatures today climbing to the low 80s and overall next week if you're uh, looking for a little more sunshine, one another break in the rain. We've got a nice stretch after Saturday or after Sunday. We have this clear sky overhead right now. Showers up closer to the Twin Cities. That round of rain slowly swinging in. It's all thanks to a, a big area of low pressure that's going to drive in another quarter of an inch to a half of an inch for our rainfall later this evening and that chance continuing into Saturday. The heavier rainfall will be east of Madison. That's where we'll see those showers continuing into Saturday. So this low pressure slowly moving to the east as it does. It's continuing to rotate and still push in another round of showers later this afternoon coming in starting right around three, four o'clock and then continuing until about nine. So here's a look at that line swinging through. You can see we're going to have a few isolated storms in the mix, but planning mostly on rain showers for this one. There will be breaks in the rain later this evening. Overnight, we get a nice little pause there also. Partly to mostly cloudy on Saturday with that chance for a few more showers and storms, mainly for areas east of Madison on Saturday. By Sunday morning, though, we're drying up, getting a clearing sky. Highs today still warming up to the low 80s with some scattered showers and storms expected in the late afternoon and evening. Those temperatures are right where we should be. The only downside, we have dew points in the low 70s, staying pretty close to 71, 72 through the afternoon, so it does feel pretty muggy. Tonight, temperatures will fall to the mid 60s with a mostly cloudy sky. Tomorrow's the Janesville Farmer's Market from 8 until 1. Temperatures will climb to the upper 70s for highs. We do have that small chance for an isolated shower or storm in the afternoon tomorrow, mainly to the east, but not ruling out some of those isolated showers along the eastern edge of Columbia and Dane and, and Rock County. Temperatures looking ahead to next week, staying pretty close to average. Highs will be close to 80, our overnight lows, upper 50s near 60. Once we get through this rain chance today and Saturday afternoon and evening, we go back to sunshine on Sunday. We're going to be partly to mostly sunny through the rest of the week and likely even heading towards the end of the week into the following weekend. We have a pretty nice dry stretch ahead. We'll be able to enjoy that after we get through these few rounds of rain.